Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. We are currently looking at the Photoshop Elements Organizer. If you are used to a typical Windows environment, you will have some familiar tools available to you. Let's take a moment to acquaint ourselves with the various parts of the environment and what we can do through those objects. At the top of the program window, we have the menu bar. At the right end are three buttons in a button group that allow us to control the size and shape of the application window. Minimize, Maximize or Restore, and Close. Note that when you click these buttons they control the sizing of the entire application, not just the image file upon which you happen to be working. The menu bar contains commands for performing tasks within the organizer grouped by category. For example, the file command contains all of the necessary commands for file management. You can click on one of the commands in the menu bar to display a drop-down listing of the subcommands that are available to perform. You then click on the subcommand that you want to perform. Some subcommands are followed by a right-pointing arrow. That indicates that you must make a selection to execute that command. Simply hold your mouse pointer over those commands until you see a side menu appear. Then slide your mouse pointer into the side menu to click on one of the available command choices. Some commands within the drop-down menu are followed by an ellipsis mark. These commands will then launch a dialog box when clicked into which you must input additional information or make a selection before you can execute that command. For example, if you selected File and then Manage Catalogs from the menu bar, you'll be presented with the Catalog Manager dialog box, where you would work with catalogs that we discuss in this chapter. In the dialog boxes that do appear, note that you can click the Cancel button or press the Escape key on your keyboard to cancel the window without making a choice. If you are interested in simply becoming a faster user of the Elements program, then it will help you to memorize the keyboard shortcuts that are available for the various commands in the menu bar. Using the menu bar to begin also will allow you to view the various keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts are listed to the right of the various commands in the menu bar drop-down menus. For example, if you wanted to view the Catalog Manager dialog box again, you could press the Control and Shift keys on your keyboard and then tap the C key to make it appear more quickly in the future. You can see the keyboard shortcut of Control plus Shift plus C shown to the right of the Manage Catalogs command within the File Menu Bar Commands drop-down menu. After the Menu Bar is the Shortcuts bar. This allows you to filter files by views such as media, people, places, and events by clicking one of those buttons. It also contains the drop-downs for Create and Share, which allow you to create and share images, which we'll discuss in the upcoming lessons. Below the shortcuts bar is the Organizer window, which displays thumbnails of the files that you've imported into the Organizer. Along the bottom of the application, you will find the taskbar, which contains various commands to help organize your media files, launch a slideshow, and view your files. Towards the right end, if you click the Instant Fix button, the Photo Fix pane will be displayed, where you can apply some quick fixes to images, such as Crop and Red Eye. Clicking the Tags and Info button within the taskbar, launches the tags and information panes that allow you to further organize all of your files. Now at the left hand side of the screen is the organizer column which displays the various folders and albums that you have created. Here you can easily navigate to different files that you have stored within the organizer. In the upcoming lessons, we'll be taking a closer look at the parts of the organizer and the functions we can perform within this part of the application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.